Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Black Skylands 1.0 here on Nature Professional Walkthrough channel or the full release or whatever you want to call this. So I honestly will have to play through the game in order to have a proper comparison to understand if the choice made to change the intro of the story and then the middle game maybe and even the later game how it's gonna play out in order to be able to determine yes they have done the right thing to go and change the game and the story so much or no they effed it up and so in order to do that the only way i can do is to play the game and actually experience it and find out for myself so hopefully you're gonna join me for that adventure uh, when I covered the game during its early access, it had actually quite decent uh, viewership, so certain episodes did underperform, certain episodes had reached a couple hundred views, and so since my last hundred days in the video game did not reach even hundred views, I kind of uh, see the motivation to move towards playthroughs more than to actually do project like that, but who knows? If I'll get some feedback, if I get some suggestions, I'm open to it. It'll just take me a while to put it together because, uh, yeah, I don't do this as a job. So your continued support, viewership and subscriptions will help. Maybe one day for me to be able to pay the internet bill doing this is I do it because I love it, not because I do it for money. That's never been the real goal for me so it is what it is so with that said on the previous episode we were able to start traveling and liberating certain islands i was specifically able to go to three islands and the, the big water island was kind of a mess because despite the fact that i have probably cleared out everyone although now that i think about it i haven't checked this specific location this island is still under the control of the pirates and i've tried to battle one of the krakens did not go well i just don't have the damage output right now to properly deal with these creepy things so yeah we're, we're gonna have to think of some other approach on this but hopefully i'll be able to actually do something that i wanted to do and that is to fix up some of the structures. So we were able to open up the marketplace. And there is a bar. There is the factory uh, allows ore to be processed into steel. So there's one option. There's the armory. Uh, I think I'll be forced to do this. So I will be able to start uh, crafting ore. Ore will be probably required in order for me to craft stuff. So I already have access to things. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So asteroid coal. The one benefit is now that apparently I can process this in a bulk. Uh, when this game was in early access, you had to process these pieces individually. And steel or iron was a different resource, so you were able to get iron. Then you had like marble, you had stone, you had wood, you had redwood, and you had the uh, swarmlet, which was after you were able to start dealing with the actual swarm or the zergs or whatever you want to call the little creepy crawlies in this universe and those were for like the high advanced weapons then there's also the gold coins from the treasure chests which allow you to buy specifically engineered weapons but eventually when you get to later game uh the weapons which you are able to craft by using just normal process will actually overpower and overperform the weapons which you were able to get at that time with the uh treasure chests so yeah we're gonna have to see what's that going to be like i kind of miss the fact that they have completely abandoned the whole concept of the ship having a bunch of cracks after the bombardment the comparison is that previously you started as ava and you did a bunch of things which explained why you had to carry people in boxes etc etc 
they went a similar route so far, but they have delved deeper into what has happened with the father and how he brought something from some far lands. And they did not, however, kind of explain why the Falcon leader became the bad guy. And that was actually done in the early game or the early access. So... Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about it. They they could have actually added the stuff from the full release and mix it with the actual content which was there from the get-go. And it would have just performed that much better because it would have given you a whole lot more context. But... Um yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately, I'll have to go and fetch more resources, like more stone, in order for me to unlock the actual uh, workshop for our ship, which should hopefully allow me to then be able to start upgrading this thing. And uh, I especially want to focus on like the tank of fuel and so on and such. One big problem which I had during the early access was that eventually when you work your way towards like the elephant hall, the uh, Stingray Hall. One problem was that you were never able to put all the most advanced uh, things onto your ship. So, for example, uh, now that I'm covering Starfield as well, which you can check out on the channel, um, if you don't have like skills heavily invested into the ship design, you just won't be able to work towards that C-class ship. But once you're able to reach the C-class, you're able to make these big ass ships which have massive mass, lots of engines, powerful shields, uh, lots of fuel reserves, things like that, cargo capacity galore. So they have actually worked on that. The, the fact that you cannot walk or, or travel on the freaking planet surface on some sort of scooter or vehicle, that, that's just uh, beyond common sense. But that's Bethesda so what do I know I'm not a gay dev but one more thing which happened is that George of the jungle showed up and Ron is uh, responsible for running research so whenever we uh, do a puzzle we might get the blue crystals and the blue crystals might give us power-ups and so on and such so, so if I have a choice the Falcons have blocked all the airways although the laboratory here isn't too bad and it for my research despite rupert's attempt at assistance i managed to complete the third prototype you'll find it useful share your observation with me later as well so pyro station is one thing the shield is actually what i prefer uh shock storm is new oppressor is new a jericho was absolutely destructive this thing was great especially when you were still not ready to deal with the swarm you can actually utilize jericho and jericho was capable of destroying the enemy but what i'll go with is actually getting the shield what do you mean i don't have enough knowledge you're trying to tell me i have to get the damn pyro station and how did you and Rupert actually, well, swap bodies? It was during an amazing experiment. Unfortunately, there's been a tiny side effect. I'm lucky it was him instead of a moth. I know I now want to repeat this trick, so if you find unusual crystals hidden inside complicated constructions, go ahead and bring them to me. Crystals. An heirloom of the civilization before the split. You can only get them by solving some idiotic puzzle. The ancients had a strange sense of humor. If I work out the principles behind the way they work, I can both return to my own body and assemble something useful like a turret for you. Fine, if I come across these crystals, I will bring them to you. I hope you don't blow up the father ship in the meantime. Elsie. Ava, good that you came back. There's a trouble on Big Water Island. The Falcons have taken everyone prisoner. So why is it you tell me this instead of my assistance? Where the place is, is he anyway? He has already gone off to save them. Alone? Without an order? Amazing. I hope he's still alive because I want to wring his neck with my own bare hands. I understand him. It's hard to sit here when people I care about are in danger. This isn't the capital. People have simpler attitude to many things. Peter will trust you more in time. Ooh, a sniper rifle. 
So they're quite generous with you getting your hands on the weapons. Unless he dies some sort of stupid death, I don't doubt Kate set an ambush like he did in Mills Island again. Why did the Falcons choose that island in particular? King couldn't have known that I grew up there, or could he? Okay, so weapons and ship seal. You can upgrade Ava's weapons with red weapon seal, and you can use blue ship seal to upgrade the ship. Yeah, that's good to know. The problem is going to be, uh, like, picking up some of these things, and uh, also there's, like, the rarest achievement, apparently, to get all the actual mods for the weapons, which would theoretically mean that, yes, you will be forced to eventually go around all the islands in order to get to uh, the bird's nest or the eagle nest to carry you to all those uh, locked up uh, chests. Because I don't think you would be specifically able to pick up those rare items from the uh, chests that you can trade for with the merchant currently. I can go spend a bunch of money with them and that would allow me to theoretically get my hands on lots of modification for rifle, for sniper rifle, for shotgun, for the assault rifle, for the SMG. You cannot modify the original pistol because it's just your basic gun, so that's that. But uh, we will see, we will see. So I think these are the crystals that Ron was talking about. So I'm gonna take the sniper rifle. And one thing which they also have changed is that because in the early access, uh, the Falcons have completely bombarded the father ship that meant that when you came to these structures they had the just like demolished blueprint and you were able to choose whatever is gonna be where so you had control over where you're gonna put the armory where you're gonna put the uh, the thing in relation to your ship where you're gonna put the uh, farm because you had to grow your own crops and you also had to have a farm for animals because you required, sh uh, not sheep, but you required, uh, I think it was chickens, pigs and cows at that time. But I have already been to the big water island, which is this thing. And uh, uh, probably this is why I wasn't able to liberate it yet because there's like a scripted thing behind it. So uh, this thing is locked behind uh, demolition stone or stone that requires you to obtain frag grenades to demolish it so that's probably going to be later down the road it seems like they have added these massive ships which roam these territories to make it a little bit more obscure and more difficult for you to get there i don't know what this means if it's like some sort of invisible current of air that will not allow you to bypass it and they've changed the swarmlet region so you will have to travel within in order to discover the islands as per usual but our strength is at 80 for our character 50 for our ship and we will require 1100 for our character 920 for our ship so we have a long long way to get there and probably there's just gonna be a whole bunch of things to deal with but we're gonna go back to the big water island the thing is that over here there's a big ass lake i could have sworn that when i was there during the previous episode uh there were like some sort of creatures or almost it looked like a diving suit or or some person was trying to get to somewhere on the lake itself but you will never be able to discover this inner region but i was able to obtain the plant which increases your hp pool so that's a new feature so yeah we're gonna have to go there check out peter who is a brand new character added to the full release of the game and uh yeah i'm gonna have to see what can be done but uh here's the thing we can buy a bunch of furniture and decorations for the father ship or i can spend a whole bunch of cash here on these chests i have lots of the uh steel so i can see if this is actually worth the investment or not at all so one thing which they also have done is add another mod box so that will allow me to open up two things simultaneously before that you had to wait one thing at a time Sniper rifle scope. 
SMG barrel. And in the early access, the fish which you were able to get did not serve any purpose. So I do wonder if there's going to be any change to that as of now. Sniper rifle barrel. So it seems like they're only giving me the basic variants of the modifications. So then there's the different colors like purple and such and they give you far better empowerment. So if we take a look over here, the assault rifle. If I modify it, I have the AR bot and look at the rate of fire which I get. But everything else is just your basic color. And that means that uh, I do get only like minimal addition to whatever buff that there is from it. Rifle sights. Okay. Uh, so theoretically, we can modify this sucker. Uh, or no, it's not this one. It's actually a different one. Yeah, but none of these are higher in value than this one. So probably going across the islands and picking up the chests is more uh, useful. Fire range, critical hit chain, chance, fire range, fire range, rate of fire. Let's go with this one. Uh, that's fine. And don't have a magazine. And I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to like get, uh, in order to upgrade these weapons further, the armory. So I haven't really been able to get that thing yet. Fire range damage. Rate of fire does not need to be crazy on the shotgun. It's a shotgun at the end of the day. Let's see, what do we have for you? Uh, okay, rate of fire slowed down. So don't have too many modifications. We can modify this. This was some sort of reward for me having the gun or the game from early access and sniper rifle. I was able to get a bunch of modifiers just out of the basic things that I had access to. Okay, so we're gonna go with, I don't know, pistol, this, and then I can put in the sniper rifle for now. Apparently, the bow and the rifle share the same common ammo type, so these are the uh, variants of ammunition which you get. But uh, when I played the early access, there was even freaking rocket launcher and stuff like that. So who knows what we will have to pick up. And probably that's why getting one of those achievements where you have all the mods for all the weapons is the least likely for you to get. Because you would have to grind this game until hallelujah. So who knows. And I have been talking way too much. I'm thirsty and I need to go grab a drink so bear with me for a second i usually try to do this before i hit the record button but these are not your professional walkthroughs i have been doing this for over four years now and i'm still a total dumbass so yeah just bear with me Sometimes I really wonder if I should be posting this stuff on the internet, but then I realize that there's far more dumb people out there and far more dumber content. So I think I'm pretty okay. So. <sighs> we can proceed. Uh, the uh, emeralds or the uh, equipment, the... What are these things called? They are a new feature, definitely. So we're going to see how that will work out, but uh, I want to see if I can get the personal shield instead of the stupid, uh, uh, blah, 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 uh, instead of the actual uh, turret, because this thing, this thing was pretty damn amazing. And if I can upgrade it, then I will surely do just that. Uh, so it seems like I will actually have access to both the shield and the, the turret, so yay. But okay, 
Uh, we're gonna travel. I'm gonna try to fast travel most of the distance. In early access version, when I picked up the game, I'm gonna refer to the early access version because I have some sort of point of reference. Uh, initially, when you tried to fast travel, you were charged for it. And uh, you did not have the blue steel and the orange steel. You actually possessed uh, these sort of purple crystals, which you were able to obtain by killing enemies, killing creatures, crashing through the stones, picking up the money outside in those floating crates. But they have changed the currency in the game, so I think we're stuck with whatever we have here. Um, but this one is full. We have plenty of ammunition and all the other jazz. Uh, I think I kind of fu fudged up and I transferred uh, the items into the warehouse in here. So I'm gonna transfer the stuff from the ship. Or, no, it seems like everything is shared. Okay, so I've just wasted one fast travel. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm not being charged for it, so... <laughs> because I'm running this on SSD, uh, the loading screen is not too long or nothing, so you should be okay. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that uh, the request? Oh, yeah. So... Uh, we did the mission where I went to the Big Water Island as apparently uh, the Fal uh, Falcons took a daughter of some farmer and she wanted to build ships but the father just wouldn't let her so she decided to join the pirates and build ships for them which is just idiotic but uh, then again if you have stubborn parents who have some sort of plan our vision for you it's hard to discuss that so i can understand but joining the pirates uh, it's pretty stupid so ava did you find her what's happened to my daughter i'm sorry morgan but iris won't be coming back but how can that be this is her home her family iris has grown up she wants to figure herself out and stand on her own two feet otherwise she wouldn't have run off with the falcons but don't worry, she didn't harm anyone, and she parted ways with them now. Such an old fool, I put too much pressure on her after my wife died. It was like time stopped for me, I didn't even notice how Iris has grown up. Sooner or later, she'll come home, but for now, leave her be. That's a familiar sound. Damn, these falcons. Morgan, hide! So, in early access, the fun thing was that the defense of the islands tend to be actually something that was buggy. We're gonna see how this is gonna work out. And if even I can sustain damage from the damn turret itself. Okay, this was quite nice. I really don't like the damn uh, mini game about having to do God knows what. Holy map, bro. How many of you knuckleheads are here? So the fun thing is when you have the shield activated. And if you are going especially against one of the knuckleheads with a shotgun. What can happen is that the whole salvo will just bounce back. And just absolutely annihilate the guy himself. Who just shot at you. So, I mean, that's fun. I'm gonna swap this for the bow. Because the bow actually deals a lot of damage. with the turret. There seems to be a sniper, but the turret, actually, I managed to place it quite nicely. Shindig. I cannot believe how powerful this damn thing is. All because I played the game in the early access. 
It's just that my aim is total shit. I never claim to be a pro. Morgan, are you all right? I'm alive. It's a shame Iris isn't here, but I'll be waiting. The door of our home will always be open to her. I'm sure she'll become a fine young woman and a brilliant builder. My daughter has always been talented, and I foolishly thought her hobby was a childish whim. I need to think about all this, but I'm in any case thankful for your help. Ooh, and we get some nice reward for it. So that should be uh, a commission done. So we can move on to the next main thing. Uh, at least I'll see if my driving skills have been improved or if I still suck. There was meant to be a ship here, but it seems to have disappeared. Uh, you still need to go and grab the asteroid coal. Because that's the way you can process the ore. I don't think I have what it takes to deal with the big ship. Just too massive at this point. And my guns are just not able to reach. I was able to turn the enemy projectiles back. But I'm too far. So even my own projectiles are missing. The target, so I have to get closer. I still don't think I'll be able to actually demolish this damn thing, it's just massive. Okay, at this range I'm actually able to do stuff. Really in a bad spot here. I have to be careful about that HP. Once again, my attention span of the goldfish is paying off. Because I'm doing everything and ain't nothing that I'm supposed to do. As per usual. of the main battery is so bad. Come on, primary gun. You're horrible. This thing is clearing out all the asteroids. I don't know how much ammo do I have left. Uh, 20. So the ammo right now is for the, like, broadside salvo, I guess. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll drop off some of the damn... I'll drop off some of the asteroid coal. Don't have that much ore right now on me. to destroy one of the smaller turrets. I 
That was just terrible. I should have waited a little longer. Oh crap. Not good. I don't know if I need to destroy all of the smaller guns in order for me to destroy the massive one. Don't know. I'm I'm literally just fishing here for trouble. frontal assault but the problem here is that I'm starting to run a little bit low on the repair kits I think oh, I still have actually 11 it's probably just showing me the amount of that one stockpile let's see if we can catch up to this big ass thing I don't know if I would be able to board the ship. In the older version, I think there was one of these ships that I was able to even get on board. I feel like every crew member. Uh, that was in the later stages of the game. Okay, I have arrived at the West Aspia. The enemies are going to be significantly stronger here. I need to upgrade the equipment and the ship before fighting them. Okay, I really do wonder if destroying this final turret is gonna actually put out of commission this ship completely. Or not. That was just terrible. I screwed up there big time. Whoa, quite the aggressive turn and actually weird stuff. The fact that the ship turned that way led to killing of one of the pirates on board. I did not expect to see that happen. Low skyship ammo. Come on. So can I take out this thing now? How would that even work? Do I need to just kill this knucklehead on board? don't have any defenses anymore. I have no clue. Do I need to shred the armor? This ship is being pushed in front. Okay, if I keep aiming over there... That would have solved my problem because the armor has been destroyed. So I was shooting the soft shell of the ship as a hull. I'm just stuck between hammer and an anvil right now. And that is unfortunate that that salvo was not able to reach my target. out of the ammo for the... Okay. Now I have to deal with these knuckleheads like so. 
also consider uh, repairing the damn thing. Because the ship's hull is just torn to shreds. But I seriously want to figure out what the hell to do with that big ass thing if it can be actually destroyed or if it's. What's the situation there? Should still have the fuel. But it keeps dropping the damn land mines. Or air mines. Naval mines. Some sort of mines. I want to overheat the weapon. So how the fudge do I do this without touching the ship and getting my own ship destroyed in the process? Okay. You must be busy. Is that it? Did I destroy the ship? It's just now an empty hull that's going to be roaming the lands forever? I don't know. Not explained at all. A little disappointed, but okay. I was hoping it would blow up. Why can't it freaking blow up? You know? It's the least it can do. Freaking blow up for me. Like, literally went out of my way to destroy everything on board of the damn thing and cannot give me a big detonation. But I cannot do this now. Okay, I'll have to travel to the fodder ship or over here. Uh, repair the ship. Get more repair kits and grab a whole bunch of ammunition and also fuel. I would like to buy something. Now this is some cheap ammunition. I can even sell things, apparently. Okay, let's free up that space before we head on to some island or something. You never know. If all the warehouses have shared space or storage, then that's just easier for me to deal with then. Ship should be refueled. We should have everything we need. I don't even need to deal with this knucklehead over here. Let's just try to make it to the island and liberate it this time, hopefully completely. Because by liberating the islands, we get achievements and also eventually there are upgrades which allow you to uh, get things done based on the population of the liberated islands. Falcon Bandit. So why is it me who's stuck here? Why not Ronnie or Johnny? They rob the islands and split the loot and what about me? Nothing again. Got to guard them here in the cages. Can't even boot someone's face in. can be spoiling the wares. There's a moth. Uh, a moth. Did it fly away from the village or something? And Kane ordered all postal moths to be killed. I'm gonna... Oh, shit! Okay. And what is this? Nah. The whale gullet with the moths. I've got these sturdy gates here. It's much better to guard the wares behind them. Ah, uh, great. They've closed the damn gates again. Maybe I'm seeing things. I should check my ammo just in case. Yeah, we actually did battle this creature, but it was in later stages, not on this island. So I'm not sure how much they have done with changes to the overall script. And I have no clue how much important is the fishing here. Because in the early access, you were able to catch the fish, but they never, ever did anything for you like they weren't useful for nothing so i don't know i do wonder if the entire island has been repopulated with the enemies now maybe in that tight space 
course not. So I'll have to move around the island again. Great. I'm happy to do it again. All over again. Well, the advantage was that at least I have cleared it out already, so I should not have the same problems. But the disadvantage was during the early access version that whenever the Falcons decided to go to an island and try to contest it from you, uh, what might have happened is that the game was buggy enough and you just simply uh, were forced to let them capture the island and uh, then take it uh, away from them once again. It just, unfortunately, some bug was there and it just was causing all sorts of problems. And I hated it because it uh, made you spend more time with the game because you had to let the enemy uh, take the island and then come back. Y you could return as many times as you could you could have cleared all the enemies on the island, but unfortunately, the Falcons kept respawning and uh, it was just a buggy mess at that time. So I really want to see if we will get to like the middle game. And this is why I say that I cannot judge the game if it's better now or worse after the full release. If I don't play through the middle game and through the later game, because that's where I'll see also the other changes which they should have performed. And thus I'll be able to determine if the game has lost its magic after its full release, which would really suck. So I have replenished everything. There's the people. Are we really saved something with whale something? It just moved too fast. Marshall's assistant, you let your pose without a permission. And he got captured. While you were getting some fresh air on Mel's Island, these people could have sent off to Nordvolt. Fresh air? I was ambushed. And I had to act. The Falcons kidnapped our people and there are rumors of monsters at the borders. Uh, pardon my intrusion, but those aren't rumors. It's a uh, curse born of the storm that fell upon the heads. Okay, this is a brand new person. I have never seen this guy before. You're from the desert lands, aren't you? That's quite far from Big Water Island. The name's Pharaoh Mistress. Calm. Better to end up in icy Northwold than to become dinner for monsters of the swarm under the dome. What dome? No one knows. Even though I saw some learned men who were sent there recently i'm afraid they've disappeared without trace you should pay a visit to our doctor at the father ship okay that was stupid so crash just so you look at that so girl you got what you wanted Keynes offered a big reward for your head he warned me that it's better to be friends with us. I'm going to cut out, cut you into pieces and buy lands around. We will see. So, uh, the boss battles, uh, apparently they carry uh, currently a secret achievement. Uh, if you defeat these knuckleheads. Uh, you get the achievement. I'm really sure why they are like hidden and stuff. I really don't like the damn reload feature. Just trying to keep an eye out on everything and trying to reload is just so weird. up all my ammo here so let's switch to sniper sniper won't be the best option here i think i'll go with the shotgun or let's go with the little smg thingy first he lacks the range but with rapid fire Hopefully, if I'll be able to get some cover still. The 
bow should do some damage too. Wow, guided projectiles. tried the damn shield. I don't know if it would work. Budge, I used it at wrong time. No, it's dodging. Which is unfortunately the projectiles did not land where I needed them to. Chip got busted, so I think it's up to you to fight me now. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Uh, with the bow, I'll be able to keep some distance. That took a lot of damage. Or made him suffer a lot of damage. And, wow, okay. Cold reception, defeat crash. So defeated these bosses is now a secret achievement for some reason on Steam. So if you manage to do that and you just progress with the story naturally, you get your hands on a bunch of secret achievements. So yeah, Peter, looks like Kane has decided to do away with you. He even sent one of his lieutenants. Our problem isn't Kane right now, but his rubble. Clearing it will take an eternity. What do they even teach you at those academies? Ask your moth to take you to the ship, then you can clear a path using its cannons. I don't like your tone, but the plan really isn't bad. I was really hoping I would be able to get my hands on the goddamn grenade so I can start demolishing the blockage and get the other crates, but uh, I'll have to wait. There are no more enemies here. This island can be now considered as a defended land. So it's officially a liberated island. So Big Water Island is officially ours. Good job. Uh, crap, could have... Hold, hold on to the repair kit, but now I have two of them, or two med kits. Okay, that worked. Question is if I'll have to repeat this feature some other time. Eva, wait. What, are you going to offer some other plans? Valuable suggestions? I ironic comments no i acted like a fool i'm sorry if not for you i would be spending time in norvoldian mines with these poor souls thank you for getting me out i could leave you my only assistance to be torn apart by i couldn't leave my only assistant to be torn apart by the falcons what is wrong with me and reading today marshall eldon wasn't wrong about you what if he was to be honest i sometimes don't really know what i'm doing that means we'll figure it out together, Marshall. My ship is moored nearby. I will take my refugee to the father ship myself. All right, let's meet there, assistant. Okay, monsoon. I'll need to get the damn ship probably in order to... A barrage of torpedoes. A howitzer. I don't really know if I can do the changes like this, but maybe I can. Who knows? Also, it depends on how much will it uh, change the ship. Yeah, I will probably require the goddamn... Uh, available at shipyard. So if I don't have the shipyard, I'm screwed. And this over here, that's what I'm talking about. It's blocked beyond the rubble. And for that, you need the uh, frag grenades to be thrown over there. And Ava is usually only able to carry like one or two of them. So it's going to be a tonal pain in the ass to get your hands on that stuff as well. What is this shit? Is this a different one? I want to actually see if I can destroy one of these structures.
These rockets have only certain range. That was just bad. I have really itchy trigger finger here. Let's see if we can fix it. Fortunately, the aim is not that great. Yeah, the salvo was not even able to kill one of these knuckleheads. But if I would be able to park the ship over here and board the vessel, I will be able to just simply knife the damn turrets. Yeah, the, the bow and arrow, that's definitely a new feature. I was... Uh, it was granted to me... Because I had the, what you call it, the early access version. Wow, the flamethrower did so much damage. I simply fell off. They can use their own projectiles to kill them. Okay, and now we control the ship, apparently. Beautiful. So we're adding ships to our own fleet. I like that. I really do. I really hate the damn fuel tank on this initial ship. It's just so awful. It burns through the fuel like if we have it to spare or something. Heal up and uh, there's some asteroid coal. Oh, so fodder ship fast travel. Let's see what we will uncover now. Ruth Marshall. Examine the refugees that you saved from Big Water Island. Some of them are very ill. They will need special treatment. Do we have enough medicine? They have swarm fever. There is no cure. It affects those who live near the eternal storm. It takes their lives in space of several days or weeks, sometimes months, if they're lucky. Damn, can we help them somehow? There were children among the refugees. One boy is infected. I look at him and I see my son. They're the same age. I can't imagine what would happen to me if I got sick. I'm not a miracle worker, Marshall, but I will do all I can. Okay, so we can go and take a look if we will be able to uh, ship workshop. So this should allow us to start upgrading the ship. Question is if it will require specific resources in order to do so. Uh, LC, I never thought I'd ever see the father ship in such a sorry state. You haven't seen our academy after the graduation ceremony. I don't understand how it's still standing. Red, we need weapons if we want to defeat, uh, defend against the Falcons. We can restore the armory, but I will need materials for the repairs. I will find all you need. Uh, tab for the shipyard. So... It's now changed. And I can use this to invest. Into uh, upgrading it. So let's get it at least up to the first tier so that it will kick ass. And that will greatly enhance our weapons on board of our ship. But... Uh, I need to take a look and see if I can do something with, like, the fuel tank. Um, I seem to have run out completely out of the blue minerals. <laughs> That's not good. 
Uh, don't have even resources. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Certainly is. I brought the materials. Great, then everything's ready for the repairs. Power. The power of the equipment and the power of the ship are important indicators of the player's power. The overall power of the equipment can be increased by weapons. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going to have to fix this. And now I can start upgrading the weapons as well. I don't know if I'll be able to upgrade the bow. But it does kick ass. Now, we won't have any problems with weapons. We can upgrade the old equipment next, but we will need new resources. Yeah, then there's like additional resources, which are uh, a little bit weirder to obtain. But uh, we will see what can be done. So armory can be upgraded with redwood and granite, but those are like a middle game, late game resources. Uh, okay, so now I should be able to go into the equipment itself and start messing with the power that it does contain. Uh, modify. No. How, how do I increase the damage output of this damn thing? Uh, B. So let's get it to that point. Okay, so I have upgraded so primarily the uh, assault rifle, but I tend to use it quite a lot, so don't judge me. Uh, Aaron, it's been a while, Ava. I'm glad you're in one piece. Where the hell did you get here from? I mean, I think in the early access version, I was able to, like, forced to go and get him, but, uh, oh well. Uh, Aaron, wow, you actually uh, decided to remember a Norvaldian. Ah, well, listen, that was ages ago. I'm sorry, all right? You just don't say you're, uh, uh, you're going to defend the fathership. How many times did I take you to complete Marshall's Eldon's obstacle course? Seven or eight? Fifteen! Hey! Calling Aaron was my idea. I know cannons, but not ships. And he can assemble any kind of engine and help with repairing the ship's workshop. I have already sketched some plans for upgrading your ship. You'll like them. Yeah, the problem is I currently do not have goddamn uh, resources for it. So I'll have to go and fetch some stuff. But we will see about that. So who are you? Are there news from the capital? No, they have previously intercepted the message Kane's howitzers destroyed everyone who could go and call for help. We need to get in touch with Chantel, whatever is his name, uh, Grace Haven. I will never believe that the governor doesn't know what's going on. We will need something more than a couple of turrets and enthusiasm to deal with Kane, and we can touch the father ship. Damn. Once upon a time, they used two big ships called Stone Ear and the Sawduster to transport ore and wood here in Aspia. We could use them to attack Kane's fort. But I don't know where these ships are now. Okay, this was an early access in a later game when they told us about this. So now they're mentioning it at the start, but yeah, it will take a while to get to those ships. And they did jack shit during the assault on the Kane's fort or, or the Falcon's fort, so yeah, we will see how that's gonna change. This is so fe weird. I just feel like I'm comparing notes from early access and the fully released game. And I have gone through quite a lot of uh, games in early access so far. And not a lot of them actually reached uh, full release. So this is fun. What happened? You just went pale. The Falcons attacked Moth Nest. I need to get there as soon as I can. But we're not done talking about the ships. My grandfather's life is more important. Uh, hang on. The message came from the mayor of the island, Oswald Mills. He's your grandfather? I told you I was born in Aspia. He took care of me while my father was off on the expeditions. If the Falcons did something to him, I didn't know you were capable of fear. You didn't even break a sweat when you wiped the deck of the father ship with Kane's henchmen. If only I shudder to think about my grandfather finding 
out about my position. He either slapped me or hugged me. He still thinks the cabbage patch is the best place for me, the safest. It's better to keep you away from the patches, they'll be in better shape that way. By the way, Shanty lives in Moth Nest too. She might know where Stone Eater and Sawduster are. I'll try to find her when I'm done with the Falcons. You're long overdue for a chat. So at the Moth Nest was where I first was attacked by that massive, massive uh, uh, Zerg-like creature which we saw flying around. The more I learned, the more I realized just how great this ancient civilization was. Dreaming about the past is a waste of time. But disrespectful disregard for history, we can't understand the present without knowledge of the past, girl. I don't get how you can remember so many facts but keep forgetting one simple name. My name is Ava, not girl. Hmm, my apologies. I will write it in my notes, girl. I'm gonna just freaking destroy your goddamn shit if you're gonna be this much of a jackass, but... You're lucky right now. Okay, uh, Ron's knowledge level is gonna reach uh, next stage once we get to next island. Come across more crystals and get some new research done. Unfortunately, I do not possess money to buy more supplies, so I'm kind of fudged on fuel. There seems to be some sort of request here. Dawson, you're the new marshal, right? I'm Dawson, the navigator of the father ship, as well as the mechanic, carpenter, powder monkey, and farmer in one. Farmer? There were a couple of farms here before the Falcons bombed everything. At least some good came from these thugs. I don't have to do any weeding anymore. I don't like scrabbing around the soil either, but I've never seen you here before. The father ship is as old as the hills, so I have to sit around in the engine room to watch out for breakdowns. I never slept through that fight with the Falcons there. But I was just thinking, we're completely exposed in the quadrant of the sky and the pirates don't even have to aim. If we try to fly away, it will provoke Kane to attack again. Nah, it's... Not like we're going to go forward, Uznia will be going in the opposite direction. Father, the further from the fort, the better. There's a good place for the father ship nearby, but it's been occupied by a huge falcon ship. Eliminate the falcon ship. Okay. I might get a bunch of stuff out of that. The question is if I have fuel. Because if I do not have fuel, that's going to be problem okay let's see what the fancy things do i get out of here ar magazine i think that's the last component which i need it nice uh shotgun barrel Uh, fire range critical hit chain chance. Uh, I'll keep this one. Good news. Uh, Moss adore this trinket. Increases Luma's maximum energy. I'm not really sure what that would do. But okay, I can equip four of them. I would actually set it up so that you have to get some... Uh, quests for the moss or something in order for you to get more trinkets equipped at the same time Because this way you kind of have four trinkets from the start and who knows how that's gonna work But what the hell do I know? I've just played a bunch of video games over the years Okay, let's see if we can go deal with that knucklehead and See how much better these weapons are How do I cancel? Okay, there has to be a better way for me to cancel out the salvo. And I really wonder if there's gonna be a reason for me to have the ship. Or the fish. Maybe I'll be able to sell them just for currency or something, who knows. Okay, this thing has bigger range. But it also overheats a little bit more. Uh, 
can try to board this sucker in order to steal it. Turn around. Whoa, that was just what the fudge was that? That was such a rapid turn. Tested. Luma is busy. I'll have to ask Luma to carry me also to the damn ship because this was just brutal. I was afraid, like, how the hell am I gonna get back on board of the ship? But apparently, Luma can carry me all the way to Narnia. Okay, so our guns have slightly better damage output now. But man, did I get my ass handed to me on board of that ship. I'll have to be more careful. This one I have already taken. Okay, I'm getting the at least money by doing this. 300 meters until our target. Definitely like the longer range on the projectile. And the splash damage helps a little bit too. Okay, the torpedoes are definitely fun. There's spare ports in here, so I won't have to buy them. Sometimes you can get a bunch of useful stuff, and sometimes you get a bunch of dumb stuff. But you have to keep on going. And you will often fall off the edge of the damn ship, because why the hell not? I need that money! I like the fact that one shot destroys the EM asteroid. It's in range on those torpedoes. I would only make sure that they hit the spot I need them to. That would be nice. Falcon ship is well guarded. I should be careful. Stay close, Luma. Ah, that's what we're talking about. I have not even paid attention to these little knuckleheads. And there should be some sort of ability that would prevent you to just fall off every goddamn ledge or surface, but Why it is what it is. Sandal. Hey, there's a crack in the ship's hull. Early noticed. Definitely takes a whole lot less projectiles, and the gun is more accurate. But not infinitely, if you just keep... I control the approach to several islands from here. 
at the same time, it's a good place for the father ship. They will not try to take it away. Okay, won't object to it then. Hold on, why do I have only so many weapons equipped? The fudge. Do I need to clear out these knuckleheads as well? But this ship has not been contested as the other ones. That's most unfortunate. Okay. Let's see what happens if we report our success. I have cleared the Falcons from the sky and I know where to send the father ship. Great, then I'm getting the motor started. I hope the transmission can handle it. Oh wait, I need to start up the steering first. Show me the right place of the map and I will navigate the ship there. Okay, a little awkward to get there, but can be done. I really miss the fact that they have removed the damn location. Or the fact that they have removed all those cracks in the ship's hull because it made you work towards fixing and patching up the father ship. Uh, so it looked like a total freaking nightmare at the start. But because you worked towards something, it eventually looked quite nice. Even though in the early access I still finished the game with half of the ship being completely broken down and bunch of holes being in everywhere, but it just wasn't the requirement in order to like finish the game with it or without it. It would still be functional. I think I just got like duplicate shotgun sight. Uh, warehouse. I have three crystals. I don't have any ore. I have one cabbage seed. That won't do anything. I have three tappers. I can theoretically try to take a look if I'll be able to sell them for money. Okay, so three fish, sold it for bare minimum. I'll make more money by just clearing out islands and stuff. But those 30 credits might be able to pay off. Yeah, I was able to earn half a tank of gas. Awesome. So now, where do we need to go? Whoa. Moth's nest is quite far down there. So there will be one of the shops in here. And then nothing. There will be one over there as a fast travel point. So this is quite the distance that I'll need to travel. Since we relocated the father ship. But it's okay. Uh, you'll still have to experience the actual movement of the ship and crash into the engine because you're totally blind and you don't have enough space in the freaking sky to move this damn thing around. But the moth nest should be a location where I should battle that big ass zerk creature. Man, what, what was the damn flying variant of the Zerk called? Mutalisk? And Mutalisk was able to be upgraded into further version. Hey, they kept the volcano! Might be able to hop to the middle in order to pick up the chest. Okay, so nothing special there. I just want to get... I'm being bombarded by something. I want to get here in order to unlock the refuel station.
Wow, that was just painful. To watch. Whoa, this island has a lot of resources, but I don't think that's the one where I need to go. So that sucks. But I'm getting that money! Seriously, what the hell is this island? Ah, uh, the wind uh, driver. Okay. So there's like this location through the wind uh, there's like a strong current so you cannot go against it I think and holy crap look at the amount of resources here red ore blue ore chests everything is there oh wow Hey, you can't just show up and put holes into my hull. What the hell? Let's go grab some spare parts. that all about is he coming back what is he doing okay so that was resolved and that is serious surplus of ammunition god damn Okay, this is some sort of strong current, so I don't know if I'll be able to go through it without running into some problems, or if I'll have to take this whole long, long route. So let's see what happens if I try to fly through. Okay. I was actually afraid that the ship is gonna be forced to go in a different way 75 and 75 we can thoroughly do the glutton islands there's ore on it Some crashed ship. That was unfortunate. But it seems like the ship has been crashed here for a while. These look almost like skeletons and not even bodies. Okay, let's swap. You're really annoying, you know that, right? Okay, unfortunately, the batteries seem to be locked behind. Fierce damage still applies. Oh, actually, that shotgun was able to reach quite far there. Need that blue ore. Let's see. Lieutenant Crash account sold in Nordwold four containers of Swarmla, three cask of Kiss of the Night, wine from Hungry Gardens, two refugees purchased with the money received, one lot of boots, footnote, and they call us pirates. Uh, yeah, for that <laughs> price. Grab some stone here. Seriously, will I be even able to get inside of the Glutton Island? 
this treasure chest here. So, so far I was at least able to pick up these chests like one at a time, but now it's gonna be a little messy. Rudolph Note 6. First October, 280 years after the split, the Skywolves have gained renown as pirates, unfortunately, but noble ones. The Osnians have added more guards to trade routes, but they cannot keep up with our ships because Libeth installed new engines for us. She and Hector were wet recently. The celebration lasted for three days, approximately. I don't recall exactly. Someone was partying hard or hardly partying. Har har har. Might have to try and get there through some other way. Not exactly sure. Where is this damn battery? Is it like inside of this damn ship or what am I missing here? Maybe I'm supposed to get there through here? Through that crack in the hull? Yeah. Probably explains it. If I drop it here, I get it here. Then I'll probably have to... Relocate the battery... Here, in order to gain access. Well, I have to say that the turret is paying off quite nicely right now. It seems like such a stupid thing, but if it works, it works. This is gonna be the most idiotic argument, but I'm just so used to having... The shields on the other key. No, damn it to hell. Not what I wanted to press. It's just causing me to... I just want to have the damn shield on the Q, not on the B. Is that so hard? That's so much to ask of. Seems so. Did I leave anyone or do I need to reach the lower section of the islands? There's still like 23 knuckleheads somewhere. So I'm guessing, yeah, I'll need to go to the lower section. Let's see if we can get there. No clue how the hell to get to the chest over there. S seriously, I need to go like this. Okay, I need to refuel. I did upgrade the, the tank so it's now able to hold more. I, I think I like this, because theoretically, if they were to go with the option that you get, for example, the Elephant Hall, and there you have to invest uh, the points, uh, the blue steel and stuff, in order to actually get your hands on the, like, best upgrades, instead of you hoping that you will be able to uh, put the modifications on the ship, uh, just the carry capacity won't work. I think this is a more valid option. I, I don't really want to buy the basic crates with modifications. But I can help out here if I have the spare parts because I might get a reward for it even though these things tend to repeat themselves. Well, inerts, I was about to start tossing messages and bottled out into the air and just get someone's attention. I'm almost out of fuel. Yeah, you wouldn't get very far without fuel. Did something happen to your tank? The Falcons happened. I barely got away. The jerks decided they were above the law and attacked. Now I'm late for my daughter's party because of them. Can you help me? 
Of course, how, de how dare they ruin a child's birthday party. So, don't really have that much to go around, but... I should do the trick. Well, inerts, blah blah blah. What the hell? I did refill your thing. I just wasted my freaking fuel on you. And I get nothing in return? That is some BS. My god, what is up with my aim? I seriously need to swap the keys or something. I'll have to figure out how the hell that is done. Okay, another treasure. Such a weird spot for it, but I get it. Exploration heavily rewarded. 12 January, 281 years after the split, Hector was wounded and he has been bedridden for two days now. These cursed Aspians made a deal with our enemies and mounted an ambush. We barely managed to escape the Usnian fleet's blockade. Tent should spawn enemies because it has the colors of falcons. And I was able to replenish the ammo. Ooh, that's a plane! Damn! With a corpse in it, so that's not cool. Section has been cleared out. I wonder how many more there are. If or if I have done this portion, and I still have just the lower portion of the island. Man, that's a big ass freaking swarm creature beneath me. Where the hell did you crawl out of? Tent is destroyed. Canister is needed. We might be able to refuel here. And thus help also that knucklehead over there. Kind of funny how I'm still being charged for the fuel. Okay, let's see if we can help out this knucklehead since it's so conveniently placed. Who knows, I might even get the reward. Got the canister. Okay, you know you remind me of my daughter. You're both so active. Thanks, here, take this as a gift from me. Glad to help. So I have now... What, what the hell did he give me? He didn't give me nothing! You bastard! Nah, I'm just joking. One good deed a day is all that it takes. And we have our crystals. Puzzle. To be be careful with this because I can potentially lose on the funds if I kill them from far. Hmm. 
because the chunks will replenish themselves or disappear eventually, leaving me without the money. I want my money. I want to solve the puzzle. I'll have to figure out, okay, so triangle. Hard to tell, no, I, crap, that is a triangle because it's demolished and there's a square and a circle only left. Uh, the second one, this one needs to get over there. Question is, which one triggers the middle one? And here we need to get the circle, so... It's all the damaged ones that are the solution to the puzzle here. Voila. I have only one more medkit, so I have to be careful here. What did I just say? And I kept standing there taking it to the face like a total knucklehead. Poor Ava. She has a difficult one. Oh crap. Out of... Out of stuff. I'm out of arrows! Oh my god, no! That's so disappointing. Where the hell did you come from? Oh hell no! gonna fly by me damn thing it's a weird placement as well still not done with the island okay I think I see where I need to go it's a guess but it might work out. I think my assumption is correct. Ah, oh, crap, I left someone up there. Okay, let's get Luma's help here. Get between the islands. Crap, the Kraken is here. I still don't think I have enough stuff to deal with the Kraken. Enough damage output. The ship's weapons are out of uh, the equation during that situation. So... That's always interesting. But I know that I need to focus the damn Kraken's eye. First I will try to liberate the islands if possible. And then I can theoretically try to face off the beast. Beautiful. That worked out. I was able to sneak attack the yellow ones, and they are just tougher to deal with. Crap, you with the shield oh, are annoying. Down. You know that. And still, there's more. And probably better off just not reloading. Or not messing with the mini game above the reload. And actually doing the uh, reload and screwing it up and prolonging the time it would take to resolve the whole animation. There are no more enemies here. The island can be now considered defended. Nice. 
Okay, this island is definitely new. There was nothing like this with the plane before. I think they changed the map quite dramatically. I don't know by me liberating the island, I actually spooked off the damn Kraken. No, the Kraken is still there. Release the Kraken. I can theoretically try to mess with the damn thing, but... Uh, can end quite problematic. It can be quite a bad situation for me. If I go to the merchant, I might be able... I still need to find someone who's gonna pay me for liberating the damn island. I thought we replenish here. Because I definitely need those spare uh, repair kits. Okay, fudge it. Let's try attempt number two against the Kraken. Uh, equipment. I don't know. don't want to use weapons that utilize the same ammunition, so it'll do for now. But this is scripted, so the ship gets frozen in ice. And so probably I'm better off just waiting the initial attacks until it uncovers the ice. Because shooting the... Tentacle tips, it just does not deal as much damage. And I feel like I wasted a crap ton of ammunition on that. Okay, there I was able to deal a lot of damage. walk back to the assault rifle. When the eye gets uncovered. Okay, we're already reaching the second tier. Getting a little pissed off, huh? I think I've managed to do just fine. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It almost killed me. I definitely need to increase uh, Ava's uh, HP pool in order to be more efficient. But I was able to get the payback. Okay, so let's see if we can reach the moth's nest now. I got a little sidetracked, but these things do help. Exploration is rewarded by treasure chests, more islands, more population, more crystals, more what have you. How the hell do I get to that damn treasure chest with that mod over there? Why is there so many goddamn mines over here? What is up with that? Who installed them? Okay, so it's it's like some sort of cave or something? I have missed it completely? Oh yeah, I'm total knucklehead. 
and over here should be a quest or a reward. Thank you, here's your reward. Thank you so much, all these modifications. Oh my god, most of them I don't even use because they're for weapons that I don't like. Third, if I can actually take a look at what the hell do I have now as potential modifications. Options go. Reload speed. I'd rather keep more ammunition in that magazine. Fire range on the shotgun is probably a little better. Nothing over there. This is just the basic one. Let's increase the damage too. Rate of fire. Critical chance. I've cleared out one island and I already have like uh, 1,000 of each versions of the ore, so that's nice. Plus I have picked up probably some raw ore as is in the ship's cargo hull. Okay, I have accidentally ran into mine because I'm a dumbass. ship approaching notice that this ship's weakness is from the front because if you're able to really put in those shots and destroy just that portion that is the armor get to the soft underbelly quite fast. There's some repair kits. So let's go call on Luma for that. Get to the actual trading ship. We can park it here. And yeah, definitely I'm thinking there's gonna be the Zerg attack. The Mutalisk. And what was the creature called when the Mutalisk evolved into it? Not like the tentacle version, but that massive uh, surface attacking thing. Oh my god. Kill me, someone. Not that it's necessary for your life. But man, what, what was the damn thing called? I cannot remember. Some destroyer or what, 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 what the hell was it called? I don't recall right now. Okay, let's see if the thing is gonna attack immediately at the start or what's gonna happen. What happened? There's more dead pirates here than ordinary citizens. And pistols don't usually blow people to bits. Now, I can't get into the town while this blocking... Well, this is blocking the way. Maybe the moths can clear it up. But first I have to find them. Okay, that statue is new. There are the moths. There's some puzzle. Counted two lighthouses. They're giving me a nice orbital view of the island, but... Ah, oh, shit! That's new! This is gonna be tricky. Okay, they were easily defended or defeated. What actually happened here is that that massive creature which we saw in the cutscene actually attacked here. So, who knows? Who knows, who knows? How the hell do I get inside? Oh my 
god, they blocked the way. Not cool. I have to take the ship. I probably have to take the ship. So a lot of changes have been made to the game so far. Map, enemies, scripted sequences, the intro. Wow, they actually like made it the these creatures were like end game things in the early access and now they're here. I want to get there because not the gas. But because there's a chest. And gold. And on the island with the moss is the merchant who trades the gold coins for weapons. Or it used to be like that. Rudolph, note 8. 15 January, 281 years after the split. When we returned to the rocky island, the little village had already burnt down. The Osnian spared no one, not even Lisbeth. Hector found her charred body in the wreckage of the workshop. Now he has locked himself in his cabin and tells everyone who corners near or comes near to shove a whale up their rear. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Problem is the gas which they leave behind. Walking in it is just hazardous environmental environmental hazard that's what i'm trying to say i'm sorry I'm recording this again at night time because i have been sleeping kind of funny lately oh it's so weird to introduce the swarm creatures this early on and again, ah, oh, fudge you with the damn blockage. You really want to force people to move around the islands once again, huh? In the later sieges of the game. Get old toasty, for all I care. Oh crap, I thought that this is actually like a thing that I can use to get across, but holy fudge was I wrong. So it seems like circle, square, and triangle are our solution. Circle is the busted one. Uh, square is the second one. I have to turn it one more time. And triangle is the busted one here. So everything will have to be pulled a few times. What the fudge is that thing? The problem is also that uh, I see that my cargo hold is quite occupied. Okay, let's get to the ship. I have to open up a gate. I have to fly around for now. Uh, that sucks. And this used to be held up by falcons, not by the freaking swarm creatures. That's quite the change. I don't really need to go inside of the lighthouse. It won't help me at all. And those torpedoes did a lot of damage. That's real damage! Go fetch whatever. What's our cargo hold looking? 11 out of 20. Okay. I thought that I have like 19 out of 20 or something. I was like, what the hell? No. I have to literally go to the surface and fight whatever is gonna crawl out of that 
gaping moth. Awesome. I'm so excited. I just stand there. And take some damage. Okay, so they introduced a swarm hives as well as initially there were just the tents for the pirates, which kept spawning in additional units. There's a present throw. Heal up. We'll have to look for additional med kits where I'm absolutely screwed here. You should really not let other stuff flying around when there's creepy crawlies here. I'm just totally paranoid. Rudolph, note 9. 18 February, 281 years. Yesterday we attacked the village where the only Ozean soldiers were an old officer and his very young aide. Hector locked them in the basement, then burned the house down. I have never dreamed of war, but that boy's screams would, will haunt me in my nightmares. Warner's list. Find new hunting grounds for the mother of falcons. Test the water quality for the source. Catch mints for young falcons. BS, at this rate, mints will go extinct too. Maybe I can feed them jackdaws. I hate jackdaws. Their chattering makes my head hurt. Whatever that means. Do the carrying, but I need to find means to get somewhere else. versus the physical damage yeah I'm just triggered immediately to like press the DM uh, reload key again and just fudge myself up completely on that so that's not good this is why I'm saying like I'm not a huge fan of the mini game. I think it might have its place, but I'm not sure if Black Skylands is the right place for that specific feature. We're gonna have to fly around. Where are you? What are you doing, Ava? That was just a weird spin. But man, those ships when we are on board, and I like tried to capture one of them, and it just suddenly turned 300 something degrees. I was like, what the fudge? That was not good. That was not good. That gave me some serious motion sickness almost. I was like, how the fudge do you do that? Seriously. Okay, this will increase our HP pool slightly. Slightly and brightly. You guys are gonna love the shotgun. Man, these things attack the moths. These are just the small ones. You wait until you see the goddamn uh, hydralisks. 
Help clear the entrance. Uh, maybe if I like eventually work my way to the front, the big ass Zerg creature will still attack. I'm sorry for calling them a Zerg, but it's a swarm. To me, swarm comes from the term where when Blizzard used to stand for something. Now they're just an empty shell of what once used to be. And that won't unfortunately change. But as people like to believe that there's still gonna be Half-Life 3 and other dreams, uh, it's unfortunate. Some things will just never happen. I'm happy that we're getting out of wake and stuff like that. Sure, I would play Half-Life 3, but I just know that Valve is not gonna switch their business plan from doing Steam to suddenly going back to game development. It's, it's just nonsensical from the business point of view. They just make more money this way. Sure, they can make like Counter-Strike 2 or some BS like that, but it's just never gonna be the same. I'm sorry. Someone has to say it. I was run I should have ran in the opposite direction in order to make the damn things get attacked by the damn turrets. But the damage has been done. And these are not your professional walkthroughs at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Oh man. Why do I like the end of the day now more than the actual day. It's probably has to do something with me having to go to work or something. Not that the two are related, probably. Who knows? I see a lot of dumb shit during these videos. I'm fully aware of that. I'm still thankful for the opportunity, but uh, if you would know some of the shit that goes on at my work, holy fudge. Okay, I need more moths. We should be there for one more location. By my estimates. One thing which is scaring me is, yeah, I need this. Or I will be in some serious trouble. Firstly, this is blocked behind the damn uh, nonsense, so I'll have to return here one of these days. Is there more moths? What the hell is this ship? Okay, so the frontal assault does the most damage. Let's okay, I did not even know I triggered the damn fishing game. I was thinking I'll get behind the wheel of the damn thing and steer the ship. But okay. Hey, at least I can go on board of the damn uh, store and just put everything into the warehouse. And thus, uh, freeing up space on board of the ship's cargo hold. I'll still be forced to go back to the father ship. But I'll be able to replenish the gas canister. And replenish the ammo and health kits. Or med kits. Voila. Uh, let's grab, uh, yep. 
just in case. Because I had only... I actually had two, f uh, one stack. It keeps showing me not the full count, but only like the ones in the already uh, opened up pack. Which is just dumb. HP bar on these things, let alone if you're eating. It's a long freaking food up. Hey, SMG. To the rescue, I guess. back up the ship again with all sorts of goodies yeah again now I fudged up the damn reload at the end there great loving it use Luma move to the other location Slow turn on this turret. It does not turn immediately where I need it to go. But I'll I'll deal with that. I really hate the fact that I don't see the HP pool on these things. Try to collect these things. helped a little bit more. The SMG seems to be dealing with these knuckleheads nicely. There we're gonna have our last be forced to return here unfortunately I don't know if there's more enemies but I think this island is heavily scripted so once I reach that location I'll probably still have to fight whatever that big ass thing is gonna be so I'll have to make sure to have actually med kits on my hand because that will be one tricky interaction This should be the last group of moths to clear out the rubble. Head to the blockage. So we're going to go to the entrance. I'll park the ship again here. Put the stuff into the warehouse. Quite a lot of these mod boxes here. All of tier 1 only, unfortunately. Ah, quick ones. I need armory of tier two. Great. But I think this is too far. 
course I took stupid amounts of damage because I'm a knucklehead. I have to repark my ship. Question is if they still kept the exchange of gold coins for weapons. Might be able to get that Gatling gun. Hey, is anyone live? Who is there? Falcons again? Have you had enough blood? Get out of here. Grandpa? It's Eva. Eva? Why aren't you in the capital? Uh, how about you open the gate and I'll explain everything and you can tell me what happened here. Curses! It's stuck. Listen, Ava, you have to leave. It's too dangerous here. There's a monster on the island. Yeah, I saw a few. They were eating moss. You don't understand. It's gigantic! Yeah, so, okay, I'm guessing they kept the scripted event. What the? Yeah. Too late. Much. You, again, issue having the damn thing on the wrong key is causing all sorts of problems for me. I'll have to learn how the hell to swap the two and not just bitch and moan about it. Goddamn rifle here. God damn it. Have to roll under the projectile. Ammo too. Wow, that sniper rifle has a accuracy of a freaking nightmare. The problem is if I definitely updated the attack pattern of this damn thing. For a freaking B key on the keyboard, I'm just not used to have anything bound to that specific key. Just horrible. I'll have to fucking repeat this. Uh, problem is, I don't have anything besides the goddamn shotgun now. Yeah, I touched the damn thing and it killed me. Uh, <sighs> okay, let's do this again. Okay, I seriously have to figure out how the hell to switch my gear because this is just driving me up the freaking wall. How the hell do I swap this shit?
Okay, shield is Q. No. This needs to go here. I wanna... I wanna swap the two. I need to have the shield as the Q key, because if I have it as the B key, that, that's just total bullshit. I wanna, I wanna swap. Okay, let's see if this will actually revert the setting. Because I'm much more comfortable having it at Q. Okay, that I can do. That I can do. Now it should work. Yeah, I'm gonna skip through all this nonsense. Sorry. We've already seen it. Ready? modified attack with the spit so that I can potentially use the shield which should in return allow me to uh, like reflect a crap ton of bullets how much of a difference it is now that I know what the hell am I dealing with it's too damn far for the flamethrower to do jack squat but it's able to block some of the damage Rolling in the wrong direction. Now let's find something that I have ammo for still. Fortunately, shooting the outside tentacles does not seem to be doing jack squat. Fuck up. Again. Fudge. Rolling in stupid direction. Don't have the ammo. Or nothing. Seriously. here again I'll be pissed come on come on Ava we gotta make it I, I don't want to freaking repeat this six times like a total knucklehead first warm encounter done Damn. 
So, well, do we throw it on the grill or? Man, that was a tricky one. Especially the harder difficulty is making it more fun for me. There are no more enemies here. The island can be now considered defended. All I have to do is fetch all the crates. All the loot boxes. So this is where I will save the game. I'll talk to the grandfather afterwards. So if you want to know how that's going to play out, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell as I publish content on a variety of games. And I don't know when the next episode for Black Skylands is going to drop. So, yeah, we're, we're going to see how that's going to turn out. And in the meantime, check out the channel for other fun content. And I'll see you all in the comments for the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye-bye for now. Simple as that.